Hey guys, welcome to this video, and today we're going to be playing some more Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Um... So, yeah, I've been... I really like this game. Simple as that. Um... And... Uh, so yeah, let's just continue playing. Uh, just a sec, I'm quickly doing stuff, as in deleting footage and stuff, so that I'm able to do this video. <laughs> All right, let's continue. Oh yeah, I'm at this part. Jeez, I did <gasps> Hold on. All right. Yeah, we have this thing here. Yes! I'm gonna slide underneath and... Yeah, we're doing actually doing pretty good damage. Okay, now I need to find a way to heal. Yeah, I'm totally need an electrolyte mate. pack. I don't have a lot done. Yes, let's repair nano paste. Come on, let's use it. There we go. Oh. I wonder if I can upgrade my character enough that the uh, health bar will be like across the screen and you know, like touching the mini map. Oh yes, let's go, let's do it, we're doing something! We're getting so many hits on it! Yeah, just... A lot of the boss fights, I can just press Y and get like most of it done. There we go. Just cutting off any piece of armor that this thing has. Or the- it's called the Grad, so... Oh, oh jeez, I'm being shot. Obviously. Oh, come on, you slid out of the way. Yes, yeah, going underneath the robot and just attacking it as much as possible. Or, I know, it's called the Grad. Okay, now I need to find he healing materials. Okay, I can't go that way. Oh, is that repair nano paste? Please be repair nano paste. Yes, it is. Now, let's use it. And yeah, this <laughs> all right. Sorry, just lost focus there. All right, right, and this this is a lot easier than I remembered, though. <laughs> I I literally just last week or yeah, last week or not actually not that long ago. I'm recording this video at a different time, but uh, but uh, last last time, you know, I was 
having so many issues with it. Oh, and there we go. There we go. There we go. We killed it. Right. I knew I'd seen that guy before. Stephen Armstrong. As in Colorado Senator Stephen Armstrong. Senator Stephen Armstrong. Nomination in 2020. Oh. And get this. Two years ago, a federal grand jury... 2020 election. ...ties to a certain private... World Marshal. One of the biggest PMCs out there. I remember. The biggest. So that means this takes place around 2019. Single largest investor in military cyborg Interesting. In the Guess that answers the question of who's backing Desperado. Marshal Desperado in bed together. Should make for some fun headlines. Headlines? This is World Marshal and a U.S. Senator we're talking about. There won't be any headlines. Even without the Patriots filter, no major media outlet will investigate allegations like these. It'd be financial and political suicide. So we just what? Sit back while they keep carving up kids, stand aside while they build an army of cyborgs? You heard them. We shut down one lab, they build another. They're planning something big. We can't just wait for it to happen. We need to hit them first and hit them hard where it counts. No, Biden, no. I know what you're thinking and just no. Colorado is in America, and America has these things called laws. Mm -hmm. And law enforcement in Denver was privatized and farmed out to... Marsh, yes, so what? There are still laws, and it's their headquarters for Christ's sakes. You'd be heading right into the heart of a raging shitstorm. I didn't say it would be easy. Interesting description. Jesus, Kevin, out. Well, he's angry. Now we got find some captive children and set them free. So, is Senator Armstrong the head of this? Or is he just, like, a character that's just here? Give me your slide! There was classified data embedded in that hand. It appears that man underwent modification at the Patriot facility, just as you did. Ah, an artificial blood cryopreserver. Also, I uh, found out that Raiden isn't actually just only in this game. He's on, he's in two other Metal Gear games. He's in Metal Gear Solid 2 and 4. But I've never seen him in those games, so maybe I could play those new series. Hmm? Perhaps I plan to set off the organs of the children they were told to dispose of. Unbelievable. You had best hurry, right? Right. Also, not that long ago, I got sunburned in 50 degree weather. Like... Hold on, hold on, we're gonna tell us that later. What? Shit. Is this a gas chamber? Oh, I thought that was Doctor. I was like, wait, bro! George! Raiden! You've heard of chloroform? Yeah, yeah. I'm born in an aesthetic as well as those lists. But breathe too much of it. So he's just gassing children. With that gas, and I'll blow his brains out. Oh, that's hard. Surrender. Surrender. What is that? The needs, the needs of the men. men. For the needs, the of, needs the of the children. Right, right. Don't, Don't worry about, about me now. Quiet, Quiet the ball. Ball. <laughs> Surrender. Surrender. Right, I can do slow-mo on like slices. I won't ask again. George. George. Are you sure? Shoot. Shoot. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. I'm ready. 
We want to see Raiden kill a kid. I'll kill him, I swear. Oh. Oh, is he gonna? Please, I don't want to. Is he... Did he just slay some both in half? I think he just sliced them both in half. Braden, man, what the? Sure, he was fine with it, but <laughs> you killed a kid. Oh, I, wait, Mariachi uniform unlocked. Do I, can I just... Oh, okay. <laughs> they can wear the Mariachi uniform. <laughs> I don't think you'll wear it in cutscenes. I think it's one of those games where, like, you know, like, it just appears in game, but I'll maybe think about it later. Yes, I'd like to enhance my weapons. My or weapon. But yeah, like I was saying earlier, I got sunburned in 50 degree weather because my school was like, Hey, it's finally nice out in Minnesota. So let's so let's see, all we're gonna go outside for a lot of things because we had to set up something outside and then we used it and then we used it it was this it's this game that the principal made so we played it but yeah Good to see you up and about. How you feel? How is he not dead? Never better, no? No pain, no more for star while them hunger space eat, and me never ever feel so awake, nah? That's because your blood sugar levels, levels are being maintained automatically. automatically. Beats, Beats the hell out of coffee. Oh! We've been here you go while I got them scone in the base! Why the rat are you not take me with you, huh? Damn it, Doc. Sorry, Sorry kid. kid. You'd just, just be in the way. Aww. Aww. Besides, Besides, I thought she didn't want to be a killer, killer, right? Me do, but... Killing isn't fun in games. Remember that. Right. Oh, so like George also now has cybernetic enhancements. <laughs> Imagine like it seems like whenever anyone gets injured, they get like a really big cybernetic enhancement. Yeah, just remember that. I wonder. Why are the police after me? What is this, Gamia? You cannot resign! Sorry, Boris, it's done. Can't have an African employee, employee involved, involved in a corporate, corporate raiding, raiding you campaign. You can at least come talk to me. No. no. So the police are after me? me? <laughs> you cannot take on Marshall all by yourself. I won't sit by while they butcher little Who's kids Marshall? and ship their parts around like meat. It's sick. 
not also simple, simple right now. The import of legal legally, legally, legally for medical, for medical purposes, purposes. Oh, Being legal doesn't, doesn't make it right. Right, 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 right. 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 Hold that thought. <laughs> Tokyo Drift. <laughs> I don't know, this is not in Tokyo, but I don't know. I just had that just came to mind. Probably because he was drifting. No, oh, he's May. So like now the police are after me. Oh yeah, the Blade Wolf. Kinda of forgot about him. <laughs> I completely forgot about him because he was like in the last episode for like Couple minutes. Oh, and he's gonna, yeah, he's just gonna completely flip over the wall. Oh, I thought it would be somehow weird and like have him like land and he continues going. There's your like. Is he gonna just kill a bunch of cops? Eighteen three one zero four point seven. Threatening a peace officer. Deadly forces authorized. Okay, he's. I have katana. Oh no, those are batons. I don't think a blunt weapon will be as effective against a person with a sharp weapon. <laughs> How do they like clip throughs? Go on, fall down. Yeah, I just immediately regain health by like breaking their spine thing. Yeah, okay, just slice off lips. Take that. Oh! Oh, I see a rocket launcher over there. I'm gonna go grab it in case if there's a later boss battle. Because knowing from past experiences, rocket launchers could be pretty important. Who knows, they might introduce another enemy. Out of nowhere. And say goodbye to your knees and stuff. Now, my turn. Oh wait, I found a new move. There. <laughs> Head to World Marshal HQ. Is it this way or is it this way? I think it's this way because this is where this is the barricade, I think. Super police officers. Hey, please say I have uh, a form of repair nano paste. No. Wait, can I? Hold on. Full arm. Ouch. <laughs> I got killed. Raiden, you're supposed to be stronger than this. And then why did you design me like that? At least I'm now at full health. Yeah, there's no cyborg police officers. That's interesting. Yeah. I'm just taking all of their spines, whatever that is.
Very good. Okay, there. Do I really need to like sit here and put my hand up to my ear just because even though Blade Wolf is right next to me? Oh, great. Oh, uh, great. Here, can I just run? Okay, it seems that I need to... Okay, he has destroyed the only stairs I have. So, get up there. Yes! I just... Yeah, I just... I can just run! <laughs> what's your status? They trashed my car. I'll have to go the rest of the way on foot. Do you really have to do Look, I'm fed up with all of it. Companies like ours, yours, bend the laws when it suits business. Why not bend it when it can save innocent lives? Right, right. Boris, listen to me. That VR train. They'll be warped into killing machines. They'll be set, be set on, on POWs, POWs civilians. civilians. It'll be one atrocity after, after another. another. Mm -hmm. Like what like you went through. We, we can't have, have any more Jack the Rippers. Rippers. You saw, you what, saw happened what happened with George. George. I'm, doing I'm doing this, this Boris. Boris. I have, I have to. to. I can't, I can't save, save those kids those from kids becoming cyborgs, but I can stop them from becoming murderers. So you succeed. So you get all the brains back. Then what? Just so happens I know one great cybernetic surgeon. Doctor. But he, but cannot. he cannot. You won't he change, won't change my, mind, my mind, Boris. This is it's my fight mine. now. And your, and your wife, wife son? and son? What of what them? them? They're, They're in New, New Zealand. Zealand. He has a wife and son? Those would understand why I have to do this. <sighs> All right, All right damn you. You, you do you realize Marshall has the contract, contract for law enforcement throughout the city. They, they are, are the law in Denver. Yeah, we've met. Well then. Officially. Maverick Incorporated condemns you and your actions as unlawful. And a pain in the ass. <laughs> now, increase your code description. Do not worry about the land. And unofficially? I'll do all I can over the codex to help. I do not like what those mudaki are doing any more than you. Spasiva, you are. Spasiva. There, I can finally... Like, I want to listen to the calls so I can understand the game. But they also are super long. The thing is, if this was earlier in my channel, I would have probably skipped every single piece of dialogue and then would have been confused. That's how- oh yeah, I just remembered, I, had, I picked up an RPG earlier. So... Mm hmm. I was gonna say, where did the other one go? Oh, come on, I missed it! <laughs> okay, I'm now gonna jump out the window. Or. Yeah. Hopefully, when I die, I get, get my rocket launcher back. Because I managed to miss that rocket launcher shot, yep. Raden! Here, let's set up the rocket launcher so I don't have to when I get back. Okay, that just clearly went... That just clearly avoided the... Yeah, just run in circles. My most effective strategy. Look. Yes. Yeah, my running in circles around him and.
Come on. There we go. Oh, here. Just get rid of these little guys. Oh, there go. There goes one of the legs. Ouch! He harpooned me. Oh yeah, this is where I can spin it. <laughs> I wonder how the owners of this office feel if they're even in here. There's this is random cybernetic ninja that's like, like destroying property and Oh great, I already got spotted. Well, thanks for destroying his shield. Oh, there. Your shield got destroyed. I got a left hand, let's go! Here, oh. do I need to... Oh, it's in here. I was gonna say, do I need to... I, don't, I forgot how elevators work. Whoops. Doc, what's your status? I am reviewing the pre-flight checklist now. I have hired contractors to handle shipping the brain unit. We should be airborne in just a few minutes. You sure you can pilot that chopper by yourself? Right. Of course! Need I remind you that we live in the golden age of unmanned flight? Even manned helicopters possess a robust semi-automatic mode. It is simple, really. So simple that I can continue to monitor your status and worldwide security from the pilot seat. I must say, for the world's largest PMC, the security procedures are quite poor. Quite poor. Sadly, I did not have the necessary permission to override their plan. Nevertheless, the data I did find should prove most useful. So please, do feel free to contact me whenever you like. Appreciate you, Doc. Well, it's not every day when I have a chance to collect so many brains. Think of the data. It's research. Oh, and of course, your first and same thing was a concern as well. Interesting. What's here? A drum can. I was, gonna, I was about to call it a barrel. Hey, two, we can do some support. Roger that. Sending back up. Oh, Hello, sir. There you go, give me yours. <laughs> what is this? Destroy a total of 100 cyborgs during story mode. Also, I'm not like, checking achievements. Any, I'm not gonna check achievements, just in case if those have like, a, somehow have spoilers in them. I, I'm making sure I'm going with a spoiler-free run. And if anyone spoils it, I'm gonna stop the series until I forget the spoilers, and that's going to take a very long time. Give me your spine. Hello, sir. Was it another one? Oh, he's still alive! How?
No, what is this? It's a guy in a suit. And I immediately disabled his these guys' wings. Okay, he has a hammer. Knowing most of the bosses and most knowing most of the bosses I've fought, I do a I do this attack. And I found out that why am I on the ground? There, I'm hitting him. I was sliding. Oh great, there's two of them. At least if I defeat the first, I'll know how to defeat the second. Come on! Repair nano paste? No. Oh wait, that's repair nano paste. No, well, I can also kill this guy. And I'm just Yeah. Oh, jeez. Hey, camera, can you not snap away from the enemies I need to fight? Okay, I think when they turn this, like, orange shade, then I can attack. When they, when they aren't this orange shade, I can attack. Yeah. They're standing in the exact same spot. Aha! Red phosphorus grenade. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There we go. I got him. Oh, geez. Now we know where I am. Oh wait, now I can cut off that guy's arm. Just as long as I get a hit and recharge my... Oh, go great. Run. Oh, there. Now this guy's gotta say goodbye to his arms. Oh, what are you gonna do now, sir? You don't have a hammer to hit me with. Whoa. I have a what is what is the purpose of the drum but Oh, it's this is another way to hide. Oh <laughs> what I'm just doing is just sliding by now. I've discovered a new strategy for maybe future bosses that might be like this. I just run, slide, kick them, and then run away. <laughs> oh jeez. Whenever he starts moving in my direction or I, I do that thing where I Waiting, I'm just getting about enough stuff so I can do this uh, slow mo thing. I'm just calling it slow mo thing because that's basically what it is. I, the camera snapped away. Oh, oh there. I can cut off his arm. Now I'm starting to actually damage him. Do what I did with the other guy. Oh, there I can do his other arm. Oh, now his leg! There you go. I, had, I barely blinked to that entire time, now I have a little bit of eye strain. 
I was so focused. <laughs> I see it's a staple of the Metal Gear series, the... The, like... Surprise sound, or whatever it's called. There we go, there's the spine thing. Yeah, there we go, now I'm fully healed. Oh, great. Rocket launcher! Or homing missile, but it's still a rocket propelled grenade, so I'm calling it a rocket launcher. Okay. Now what could I do about bosses that are in the air? Ah, just like run underneath them, jump, hit them, and run. Waiting for- oh wait. Yes, the part of it's blue. What am I doing? Oh, there you go. And I just got a notification from Mushroom saying that I did the hourly... No, it's like half hour warrior, whatever it's called, where I got... Like, there's a bot on Discord called Mushroom, and it gives you achievements for stuff. Yeah, for any boss that's on the ground, I'm just gonna run in circles. And, t and just, you know... Slice them with my sword until I can, you know, do this. When you're gonna both of your arms sliced off, that's basically a failed mission. Because you can't really do anything except for kick. But clearly these guys probably won't kick me as their first instinct. I'm gonna I wanna see if I can get to a hundred. Oh, come on. I want it. I'm at 90. 10 away from 100. Yes! Yes! Yes, I'm at 100 count. 104 kill. Him in hits. 104 combo, let's go. Oh, I almost just catapulted myself off the building. You cannot yeah. proceed any further via the rooftops. There is a freight railroad underground. The elevator ahead will take you to it. Oh, would you look at that? There's the elevator. Yeah, that. So do I just sit here? What do I do? I, I, I don't know, it was just a thing. I was just doing it because I wanted to see what it would happen and look. I actually did what I was supposed to do. What do you want, really? It would appear so, likely part of Denver's old system. This city was a major transport hub in the early years of freight train. This particular line appears to have been abandoned some time ago. It was originally constructed to transport supplies to an underground factory. But now, it seems even the electrical system is no longer functioning. Yeah, it's pitch black in here. As a sign okay, that's... I trust this is not a serious concern. <laughs> okay, good. That was. Oh, actually, yeah, I'm using, we're using the mini now. Okay. And I, I was. 
could have seen the, if the AR display would work, but I didn't know how to use it. Yep, it is here. Goes completely pitch pitch black. I still have no notice you. Do not expose yourself. Do 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 do. How do I use it? There. Okay, the gorilla butt. Are you serious? How do they notice me? Basically letting everything notice me now. Come on, AR display. Okay, just need to find this maintenance shaft. If I'm not being killed by- if I'm not being attacked by the gorilla bot that made me mad last episode. Oh come on, I have to kill these guys now? In order to get through? I hate when it- Here, I'm gonna use the rocket launcher. If I don't immediately miss it or get hit while trying to use it. Oh great, it dropped hit me. Now I'm having flashbacks. Can I please use my Jesus twice? It okay good it hit, because because of the combat. Oh yeah, these little robots give me healing stuff. See, that's kind of garbage that it... That... What? Now nah, imagine... Imagine you're on the Imagine this in real life. You're in a sword fight with someone and all of a sudden your arm randomly turns blue and then you're just like, wait, what? And then you, they, they like, in like a split second your arm gets sliced off. Like, that's what I imagine it from this robot's perspective. Their just arm randomly turns blue. Oh, wait, you gotta slice off their legs so that they can't dropkick me. Oh, right in, like, mid-dropkick. Alright, let's head to the exit. So far, there wasn't a boss battle where I... ...failed. Oh, what do you want? Remind me to teach you about sarcasm sometime. I understand your attempts at humor. I simply do not find them entertaining. <laughs> you just basically was saying, not funny. Didn't laugh. Right, you have almost reached World Marshal Headquarters. No, I can't just run through because it does the stupid barrier. Ah, oh, bummer. And also the... The... The grad is back. I thought it would be a one-time boss. Oh, 
Hey, can you come down here? Ooh, oh, let to see if I can jump over it. It appears there are enemies on the overpass. I suggest you have your support. Ah, I see. Yeah. Now it's a little stun. Oh, I see the granite is using the new paint job. Imagine if this is the same one, just every time it's the same enemy. Oh yeah, do I have any repair nano paste? No, of course. Of course, when I... It always seems like when I'm in, like, a bad situation. And desperately need. Uh. You have almost reached World Marshal Headquarters. Repair Nano Paste. I'm out of it. There we go, repair nano pace. Alright, come on. Oh, there you go. We can... Yes. Let's go. Just... Okay, I was gonna say, are we gonna go? Enemy ahead, Dryden! Avoid fighting if you can. Yeah. Just walk by. Oh great. I did most I avoided most thing. Oh great, he's a blade wolf. A real dog has a far greater intellect. Oh yeah, I remembered my blade dog strategy. There. Here, I just need to kill these guys. And also take their spines so I can actually have enough health to kill a... Oh, it doesn't get me taken out of context. I, so I can have enough health to be killed to kill the dog.
There we go. Oh look, it's Jetstream Sam! It's the it's the guy. I heard you chop the lab director in half. Old habits die hard, eh, Jack? But now here you are. The child soldier fighting for the children. <laughs> Please. What do you really expect to accomplish here? Play Satan here to a bunch of brains? And what? Earn a medal? Think about it, Jack. No oh, now we can just escape it. The first world looks away. No one will use a shit. No. But you're a man on a mission, aren't you? Gonna fix everything. Just you and your little sword there. Solve everything. I mean, you are the one with the gun sword. I kind of want one. My sword is a means to an end. To protect those you prey on. Really? Let me ask you. All those cyborgs you've killed up to now. Maybe they weren't kids, but they were people. You ever think about them? When you're chopping them into hamburger? <laughs> They're adults. They made their choice. Sure they're adults. Sure they signed up for this. Right on the dotted line of their PMC contract. Usually they're no strangers to war. In fact, many times they already lost a limb or two. Many times they were out of work and starving on the street. So yes, they sign up for surgery to fight God was there. How else would you provide for your family when your country's embroiled in civil war? Pain receptors shut down, pumped full of fear inhibiting nanomachines and sent right into the blender. Your blender? But they made their choice, right? Open your eye and see, Raiden. I've seen plenty. Then listen. Those battlefield emotions that the nano suppress. Listen to them. What are you talking about? Shh. When am I gonna fight Jetstream Sam? What's wrong? The way he killed all the others? Oh god. Please god, don't let me die. Let's do this! This is fair! Listen closely now. Die! Oh, you got the electric avatar. No, oh, that's so scary. Here, right, and let me take control of and I'll kill them. Yeah, man! <laughs> Oh, 
Where's Jet Dream Sam? There, I'll go run out. Just ignore him. Raiden, are you injured? I thought they had a choice. A fair yeah. choice. Mentally, I am. <laughs> People are different. As opposed to AI. You're all the same, huh? You and your brothers. Manipulating mankind for our own good. It appears my statement has upset you. I apologize. No, it's... I know you're right. As for AIs, we adapt as we learn. Just as an intellect operates, man or machine, altering the course of mankind is not along my divine directives. I guess that's a relief. Samuel's behavior does not match established parameters. You know him? Affirmative. Yeah. We served together on three previous missions. He served Jetstream Sam. You think highly of him? I have always found him dependable. Until now, scouting data for the next area. I'll control the head. You follow. Your current emotional state appears highly volatile. I assure you not to attempt to avoid the mission, but I suggest you avoid combat for the time being. What are you doing, Ryan? Who is repairing nano paste over there? Brandon, what are you doing, man? Man, it's research from last trip for it, just not attack anyone. Riding, your current emotional state appears highly volatile. I am sure you do not intend to abort the mission, but I suggest you avoid combat for the time being. So where was supposed to go? There's some repair nano paste right there. Hey, can I drop down the tree? There, it's the mode in Wii Sports uh, Resort. Where you cut stuff in half. I made an entire train explode with one hit, Jetstream Sam. What did you do? You sliced off my arm. But look, I have it back. I mean, you also did stab me in the eye and I didn't really do anything about that, but uh... But... Hopefully, if we do fight him, I, like, get, get his sword. Like, if we end up killing him or something. Or, like, interrogate him. And like steal a sword, or what if we like befriend him, put him on our our side? But I just need some excuse to get his sword. I want a sword. I could care less about Jet Dreams. You know? <laughs> I just like the sword. Hey, 
Hey, like, Raiden? Is this you? Hey, Raiden, can you actually be, like, motivated to fight them? You know, be like, burr, burr, burr. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm something a lot like Jetstream Sam now. Maybe I am Jetstream Sam. Thing is, I'm not Spanish. Is Jetstream Sam? Isn't Jetstream Sam Spanish? I don't know. Oh, I killed one. Hey, can you? Hey, Jack. Hey. Yeah, I think that is. Yeah, that's a Spanish accent. That's definitely Jet. Yeah, that's that's Jet Street Sam. I wasn't even paying attention. He's right there. <laughs> Who's that? My name is Monsoon. Oh, thanks for telling me your name immediately. Yeah, I guessed as much. How do you see? Uh, what the? What are you, a character from ARMS? How are you alive? My brother in Christ. <laughs> How is this guy alive? Feasting on the insides of your enemies? How easily you ignore the loss of life when it suits your convenience. So tell me, who saves the weak from the man who saves the weak? You're the ones who saved the this guy alive. You take a song, become a character from ours. Of course, they get hurt when you set them up as your human seal. Kill or be killed, Jack. That. Sorry, man, I'm gonna have to fight you later because that'll be the end of this video. It's already an hour long. War is a cruel parent, but an effective teacher. Oh, this is the same. He's the same. This world and all its people are diseased. Free will is a myth. Religion is a joke. Controlled by something greater. Me. The DNA of the soul. They are the culture. They are everything we pass on. Expose someone to anger long enough, they hate. They become a carrier, and they greed, despair, and All Is that a meme? You can't fight nature, Jack. Wind blows. Rain falls. And the strong prey upon the weak. <sighs> Sam tells me you see your weapon as a tool. Something that saves lives. A means of justice. Now there's a pretty meme. Exquisite. Why are you calling things mean, man? Okay, there. That's a checkpoint. That is until the illusion was broken. Don't be ashamed. It's only it's nature only running its course. You have you no have choices to make, to nothing to answer to for. You can you die on a clear conscience. Well, there is a weapon for a change that, isn't it? You're right. Sword or baton? About me, I so, mean. Size. Aren't they called size? I knew and something was off. Oh. After the Patriots, I thought I could walk off the battlefield and into a normal life. But here I am, surrounded by death, arguing philosophy with terrorists. I told myself this was about justice, about protecting the weak, but I was wrong. 
<laughs> then you would admit it. I learned young men killing your enemies felt good. Really good. In America, my friends, my family, they helped me forget the devil inside. But who am I kidding? I was born to kill! A bit about my sword. That means of justice stuff. I guess I needed something to keep the river in check when I was knee deep in bodies. You? But you. All this is a wake up call to what I really believe. What I really am. What are you saying? I'm saying Jack is back. Oh, his eyes are red. Ouch. <laughs> Doctor, turn off my pain inhibitors. What? This is madness. You do it. Turn off my pain inhibitors. So now he's just losing all feeling of pain, or is he? Gaining or feeling of pain. Pain. This is why I fight. <laughs> this is my normal. My nature. You've lost your mind. Says you. This is Stretch Armstrong. Oh! Sorry. We're going to have to stop right there. So anyways, hope you like this video, and bye.